Our first speaker is the Managing Director of Oyster IMS, providing strategic information governance services sold business to business, often with elongated, tendered processes in play. That's quite a mouthful. <laughs> you did write that, yeah, not me. Established <laughs> over 14 years ago, the last 18 months have been pivotal, and earlier this year, he completed the Watertight Master Plan Programme. To give you a flavour of all he's achieved, please welcome Joe Elliott. Um, not my natural constituency uh, here amongst marketers because I did run a business, but the stuff we've learned in Watertight is just more applicable to me than almost anything I've ever done in business. And I set up with, um, with my uh, presentation there with a set of photographs. I like to present with just photographs. Don't have bullets and uh, something nice to look at. But Bryony said I wasn't allowed to have those photographs. Because even though I had the copyright on them, we didn't have permission. So rather brilliantly, uh, Bryony put together some things that were just representations of those photographs. So I originally had this, this um, photograph of the Beatles when they arrive in America and they're getting off the plane and you know that behind the camera there's all the adoring American fans screaming. Um, and, and I just want to use these photographs to, 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 to illustrate a few of the points I've learned um, during wartime. And the point about that Beatles photograph is it was easy for the Beatles, wasn't it? It was just the mob top hair and the, the Liverpool accents and the wacky attitude. That's all they needed. <laughs> it wasn't all they needed. They were brilliant. The point was they had a fantastic product honed over many years, many years in Hamburg playing 24 hours. So, get your product right is the first lesson I learned when I got into doing some of this marketing stuff. Have a great product. Spend time on that product, get it right, and your marketing's an awfully, an awfully lot easier. Who was that going to be then? Gordon Ramsay, of course. The second point I want to make is really um, about emotional connection. And this was my biggest takeaway from Briny, really. I could have put any celebrity chef up there, because it's all about them, isn't it? It's all about how they are, their brand is who they are. But I use Gordon Ramsay because I have a Gordon Ramsay story. And we, I was very lucky to dine at uh, Royal Hospital Road, or have a lunch at Royal Hospital Road, which was his second restaurant. I had no idea he was cooking, but at the end of lunch he came out, and he went round to each table, and he had a little word with everybody. Um, he was charming and lovely, my wife swooned. <laughs> I swoon, I think, it's just fantastic. Um, but do you know what? Do you know what I have with Gordon Ramsay now? I have an emotional connection. So, not lasting, of course, you know, never see him again. <laughs> but your clients bought from you because of that emotional connection. And you've got to keep that emotional connection going. In all your marketing, make sure they're still buying from you. And that's a difficult lesson when you're, a, when you're running a business. It's all about you. You've got to be front and centre. You can't be on the beach. You've got to be there talking to your customers. Hmm. So that was going to be Grace and Perry. Uh, two pictures. One of him as Claire and one of him as Grace and Perry. Uh, and this is the point about marketing is in your business and it's everyone in your business, whatever hat they're wearing. So Grace and Grayson um, gets up in the morning, I guess, and he looks and decides whether he's going to put a dress on or he's going to put a suit on. But he's still Grayson Perry, even when he's Claire. It's not like Dave Edna and he becomes a different character. He's himself. So whichever part of your business is representing you, sales, marketing, operations, support, any of those, they've all got to be giving the same message. And if you're a one-man band and you wear a different hat and you do lots of different things, you've still got to be consistent in the message you give across. I love what Grayson Perry said actually when, um, when he won the Turner Prize. And I can't remember who was interviewing him, but said, the first cross-dresser to win the Turner Prize. And Grayson said, as far as we know. <laughs> Who was that going to be then? This was tough. This was tough. Stephen Fry was going to be. Not bad, Brian. <coughs> uh, what does Stephen Fry do? Comedian, someone said. Uh, Writer, actor, academic, activist. All of, all of the above. 
How do we know he does that? Because we see him do that, don't we? The people that commission what he gets paid for knew or know he does all of that as well. So they give him money for writing, they give him money for acting, they give him money for broadcasting. This year, last year, one of our best clients that we do some software work for ran a tender for things we do in the other part of our business. And it was, uh, it was issued and awarded and we didn't know anything about it. And it was absolutely terrible, crucifying for me, because it was, it was a big thing for us and one of our best clients didn't even know we did it. Um, so as part of Watertight, we got um, one of our ex-clients to go and uh, speak to our customers, our staff, our suppliers, people in our supply chain, and make sure, uh, well, find out exactly what we did, ask them what we did, and half of them didn't know half of the things that we did. And it was very disappointing. So, in true watertight style, we created a, uh, a three by three matrix, not two by two, a three by three. Bit like, um, with, could, Brian was used to use the example with us, which was um, uh, the trivial pursuits thing, the cheeses. You got one of them, people know you for your orange cheese, whatever color it is that you're, you, you, you're selling to them. You need to make sure they know everything. So we've got icons developed for each of those, and that now every piece of work we do, we use that icon, and we also let everybody know all the other things we do. It's really important. Ah, Dolly. Dolly says great things, doesn't she? Things like, I'm not dumb and I'm definitely not blonde. Um, but the thing that I like that Dolly says is, um, it takes, it costs a lot of money to look this cheap. <laughs> Why do I like that? I like that because it takes an awful lot of effort to make your marketing look simple. An awful lot of effort. So you've got to be in the right place. You've got to have the right, the, the right marketing materials. You've got to have uh, an emotional connection. You've got to make sure that you retain your customers. Um, and we didn't do that very well until we met Bryony. We didn't do it well at all, because we did it in an unstructured way. We were the, we were the up and down, floppy marketing. Um, and now we've got structure. And we've spent all of our time so far internally uh, making sure that we, 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 um, we commissioned some photographs for this emotional connection piece. Uh, and so John, wherever it is, didn't use John, didn't know about John at that stage. Uh, but we commissioned some photographs, two big sessions. Our new website will launch next week, so don't look at our website now, it just links to a microsite. But um, our new uh, website launches, because Brian came in the office, we, we created a welcome to support pack, and we had all this onboarding stuff. And Brian came to see us, and we showed it to her, and she went, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> and she said, it's not you. It doesn't reflect you as a business. It doesn't reflect me as the owner of the business. So we've had all the photographs done. And the great thing about the photographs was um, exactly what you said yesterday, John. We said to everyone, we're all going to have our photographs taken on our website. It's 14 of us. Who doesn't want their photographs taken? Loads of people put hands up. But we talked to them about why we were doing it, and it's all part of the same messaging of Watertight, that it's across our whole business. And eventually everyone agreed. Um, and the best thing about the photo shoot, not just the photos that have come out of it, the two days we had the photographer in, doing, going through all the shots we wanted, as well as the individual headshots, tremendous internal bonding exercise. But yeah, everyone's now bought into this. They're gonna see themselves, they're dying to see the new website. They're dying not just themselves, but it's really helped to, to bring the, the, the organization together. So this is my banana arm, and this was gonna be status quo. <laughs> Um, and this is another lesson I've learned. When you, when, when, when you run businesses, you are constantly looking for the next new thing to get excited about, because we get bored. You get bored, you want to do something new, you want to do something great. So I got to thinking about this, and obviously I've changed that mindset. You know, you've got, you've got to carry on doing what you're good at. And I got to thinking about status quo and whether, whether they lay awake at night wondering how they were going to appeal to classical music fans. <laughs> Wondering how lovers of flamenco guitar music, who are not buying their records at the moment, might buy the next Status Quo album. They didn't do that, did they? They just made the same record again. 
exactly the same. Right. <laughs> and, and, and again. They just gave their existing customers what they wanted because they bought it in the first place and they wanted to buy more again. And that's the big lesson really. Don't forget about, well, have an excellent core product. Don't forget about it. Keep doing the new interesting stuff. Keep innovating, but don't forget your, your core. Um, and that's it really, just wanted to give you a, 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 a quick counter through that. What's next for me? I'm not a name, I'm a number. Number six, the prisoner. Any prisoner fans out there? So, um, I need a leak buddy. I think leak buddy is a phrase we should just keep amongst us. I don't think it's something we want to take out into the wider world. Anyone who is also looking for uh, number six, uh, you can see me later. Thank you very much.